Hi. Well, I was in Poundland the other day and uh, having just a look through to see what they've got there. And uh, yeah, I found this. Disposable charger power pod, uh, compatible with the iPhone 5 or later. Uh, I don't have an iPhone, but um, we're gonna take a look at this and uh, see what's in it, see if there's a possibility that the cell is actually rechargeable. Now, this has got the number two on the back of it, so I thought this was gonna be a two pound device, um, but it was actually only up for one pound, so possibly they were two pound before, I don't know, but for a pound, if it is a uh, rechargeable cell, that could be good for uh, salvaging. The other problem I've got with this is the fact that it's disposable. I mean, come on, you know, somebody buys one of these, they maybe get, I don't know, up to 50% charge in their phone, and uh, then it just goes in the bin, and that is such a big waste. Uh, yeah, so I'm not best pleased that these things are around, but uh, yeah, I saw it, it was only a quid, so I thought we'd take a look at it. Now, before we dive in, just wanna say a big thank you to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. PCBWay offer a high quality manufacturing service from standard prototype boards to flex rigid PCBs and even assembly. Why not take advantage of their $5 welcome voucher and get your first prototype boards free? Already have an open source PCB design? Join their shared projects area where you can list your design for sale and PCBWay will donate 10% of the PCB cost to you as a way of saying thank you for your contribution to the open source community. Links are in the description below. Okay, so let's uh, get this out and see what we've actually got. Now I probably could have got like a lead or something um, adapter to uh, use it, but I decided not to bother. Okay, so this is interesting. So it's got, it's a bit rattly. I think that's, yeah, it's just the uh, switch. We got an on and off switch. Um, little hole there, could be a vent hole or an LED. I'm not too sure on that one, but nothing lights up. And it's just got the uh, connector straight on there for the iPhone. So I'm sure there probably are ways of getting an um, adapter or something to uh, test this with. Capacity says 650 milliamps, uh, five volts at one amp. So I guess since we can't test it with that connector, the best thing we can do is try and get this thing apart. Hopefully without uh, damaging the uh, cell inside. It's a Monday here and we don't want any fires. So I'm just gonna go around with the uh, spudger. I imagine it's probably clipped, possibly got some glue as well. So hopefully we can ease it loose. But yeah, it, it's, it's a shame that these sort of things exist because the problem is that I don't think anybody's gonna actually make the effort to take this to a recycling center. They're just gonna use it um, I mean, I think it had not here, so, you know, great for festivals, you know, people are just going to get a bit of power into their phone, then they're just going to chuck it in the bin, and that really isn't good at all. So, I've right, broken a clip there, but I'm not too worried. So, let's uh, zoom in and have a look at what we've got. All right, hopefully this will stay in focus. So, we've got our cell here, uh, 650 milliamp hours, 3.7 volts. That one stuck down, possibly. So I don't know if this would be a rechargeable cell or not, because I believe that it's probably just as cheap to uh, to make these as rechargeables. Um, but I'm not quite sure how we can tell, but I will uh, Google the numbers that are on it. And when we've just got a tiny little board here, which I guess is just some basic protection and the switch, let's see don't think that's actually uh, screwed on or anything. No, there we are, so that just pops off out of the way. So we've got an inductor there, obviously our connector soldered directly, a couple caps and a resistor. On the back side, 
Got a little transistor of some sort there. There's another tiny little chip there. So I'd imagine these will be um, protection ICs, etc. I don't know if I can read the writing on that or not. Uh, that one just says possibly P7. Um, apparently this is a revision 3.1 board so they've obviously revised this a few times see if there's any markings on this one here uh, SY 1501G I believe is what that says so I expect that would just be a main another part of the uh, protection device for this so yeah no sort of obvious infrastructure for recharging which is what we would expect so let's just grab the multimeter and we'll see if we've got some power in this i'm sure we should have i don't know what the shelf life of these are there's very little information on the packet um actually i don't think it even states on the packet what size the um the cell actually is as well for capacity. So yeah, it's 3.9 volts. You can see that there at the moment. So not fully charged at sort of 4.2, but we have got 3.9. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly Google the uh, information on uh, this battery and see if we can find anything out about it and whether or not it can be recharged. Right, I've had a look. I checked that number there, uh, 523450AR. I think that's a genuine a kind of, uh, what's the word I want? A sort of standardized um, number for different cells of this type as it does sort of bring up various Alibaba listings um, for rechargeable cells. So I can't get a definitive answer as to whether or not this is actually rechargeable or not. Possibly not because it's got quite a thick casing on it. It's not um, normally they're just wrapped. This is sorry, I'm off camera. This is quite thick metal, so I don't know that wouldn't allow for sort of any expansion or anything. Um, but I will just chop the wires off and I will just try giving it some power just to see if it tries to take any power or not, but of course that's not really gonna answer the question, unfortunately. Um, but if anybody does actually know if this cell is possibly rechargeable, uh, do let me know. Now, let's try and strip that without actually cutting all the, uh, cutting the wires down too much. All right, so it looks to me just like um, aluminium base wiring, I think. It's gonna be something cheap because of the uh, nature of the products being uh, advertised as disposable. So what I'll do is I'll set the power supply at 4.2 volts. And let's just get that connected. And I'm just going to start at 50 milliamps. And it is drawing 50 milliamps. So let's uh, let's go up. Okay, 100 milliamps. And it is drawing that current. So I think we'll go up a bit. All right, 500 milliamps. And let's just see if anything bad happens. So far it's not feeling warm or anything. But it is taking half an amp at the moment. So it could possibly be rechargeable. A lot of the time it's just easier and cheaper for them to just get a rechargeable cell. As uh, that's sort of the most widely uh, manufactured type uh, out there. But I could be wrong especially since it's a very solid
package that doesn't really allow for any kind of expansion of gases as the uh, battery aged so could be wrong on that one but yeah so far that's not there's no reverse effects on that it's not getting too hot or anything it's, it's stone cold there's nothing going on there at all but it is taking the current so I shall leave that for a bit and see if uh, if it does a uh, charge back up to sort of 4.2 volts but I will be keeping a very close eye on it so that was a very quick video really guys um, but yeah just wanted to uh, have a quick look inside what's inside one of these little uh, Poundland power pod devices like I say I don't think uh, they're a great idea because of the uh, disposable nature and the fact that people will just uh, chuck them in the general household rubbish or a bin when they're out and about and yeah that is such a waste but unfortunately society is like that now, if you like this video guys please do give it a big thumbs up please leave in the comments below if you've used one of these or if you have any knowledge on whether or not these are actually rechargeable cells that would be really interesting to know because it's a good price to get a little cell so yeah do let me know if you have any experience on these at all and uh, please subscribe if you're not already subscribed and i will see you soon for the next one cheers